Rosa, welcome to my YouTube video today. I'm going to actually be reviewing, and it's probably going to be a really small review this time around, um, but I am going to be reviewing a small little booklet or book that I basically received in my Owl Crate. I believe it was my February 2019 Owl Crate subscription. It was, I believe, the theme Whimsical Beast or something like that. But this one did come as like a little bonus book item in that subscription, and I really am so happy Owl Crate did it. The publisher is from Oni Press, and the author is Katie O'Neill. She also did the other illustrations for this book. This book is called The Tea Dragon Society. It's definitely, it's like a very different book than I've read. And here's the thing, this is more in a comic form, um, just in case if you guys wanted to see. It's just basically more like comics. And I am so, so in love with comics so, so much. But I also like to do kind of like very different type of comics. I like to kind of venture out and try different things because there's so many different types of comics other than the regular superhero ones from Marvel or DC, if you know what I mean. Um, so I kind of like to stray away and kind of find my own type of comics that I love. Um, one of the things I know my mom really, really enjoyed was the Archies, and I don't know why my eye is twitching right now. Hello, how rude. Get it together, eyeball. But my mom used to always read the little Archies. That's how she actually got used to reading in English and kind of getting to know more about the language. That's actually how she learned more about speaking and reading in English through the Archie comics, actually. So of course, when she used to read them, she used to pass them on to me, and then I would read them. But anywho, so those kind of of comics I don't know I always thought they were really really fun and enjoyable this one in particular I know it's very whimsically and just oh gosh just like a breath of fresh air it's definitely something different I really enjoyed it and I read it within like minutes I definitely like went through this so quick I just really really wanted to get to it something about just the picture and just looking at these cute little animals right here um definitely intrigued me I don't know why I just could not like I could not go to bed without reading it put it that way and my husband was like wait you're you're really gonna read that right now? Yes, I am. Um, yes, I am, which I did, and I read it really quickly. I know they definitely had messaged me, um, not necessarily messaged me, but commented on one of my pictures, and they said that more was coming for this particular, I guess there's gonna be like a series or something about this particular book. But anywho, this one is about Greta. She does have her mother who is kind of teaching her about blacksmithing and whatnot. So they do do a lot of like swords and uh, kettles and whatnot. But the thing is, it's kind of like a lost art almost. And it really talks about like arts that were developed throughout time and throughout culture and ancient history and whatnot. And just how quickly in society or whatnot, you basically start to kind of like stray away from it and you kind of lose the roots of your culture and who you are so I feel like this kind of does give you that little concept or that idea in a way I know for this one like I said Greta's kind of learning and her mother's kind of reminding her hey you know you got this little piggy right here who is supposed to be brick and he is the one who she made a promise to that she would be doing blacksmithing and whatnot so anywho she goes to the market really quickly or goes out of her home and she finds a hurt creature she doesn't exactly know know what kind of creature it is but she does end up finding it and then when she takes it home her father ends up telling her by the way I think that creature belongs to Ezekiel and she went on ahead to go return the creature to him and that's where actually she meets Ezekiel's partner Eric and that's where it actually starts to develop she even meets another little girl named Minette and she's very very shy but she starts to learn about the tea dragons and realizes that the creature she just saved was actually a tea dragon so it's just kind Kind of talks to you about that I really love this in regards to the very end because it explains to you about the variety of tea dragons but these dragons develop these little plants on their heads and whatnot and I know Ezekiel really explains to Greta the importance of you know preserving their history and what the tea dragons really mean um, I guess these teas really kind of have like a magical feel to them they're not just like any regular teas and they're only developed and grown on these tea dragons so they really take care of these tea dragons while they're little. And you guys, just to kind of give you guys an idea of just how whimsical and magical and just really really nice these illustrations are and I'm telling you guys the storyline is really really nice I can't wait to read more about this I actually I mean if there's going to be a collection I want to collect them for sure um it's a really quick read like I said um but look at this picture you guys it's so so good right here you do see Ezekiel you see Eric 
um let me see Manette, Greta and of course the tea dragons down here um so yeah so this is just about this young girl who is definitely going to be learning craft of different things both from blacksmithing as well as tea making so yeah so if you guys are interested into something very whimsically and yet magical in a way this would be something it would be a quick read but it would definitely be something that you can have on your table or something for your guests I know they could probably skim through it really really quickly but it was definitely a very enjoyable read so I'm really looking forward to see what else Katie O'Neill does have I'm definitely going to be watching out for her but you guys this is actually going to be the end of this video I just hope that I gave you guys a little brief description as to what this kind of is and yeah so that's actually going to conclude this video you guys I hope you guys actually enjoyed it if you guys did don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe and click the notification button if you guys want to get notified every time I upload so until next time you guys toodles